Hello everybody, Gabriel Penny here bringing you another episode of our World of Warcraft classic Let's Play. And we are back with our hunter maze. And we're going to be out here in Stranglethorn um, trying to get some crocolis stuff. We'll try to get this fuel regulator blueprint and we might come over here and try to do some panthers. All the while looking for basilisks so we can get these crystals. But we shall see. Looks like there's basilisk down here or up in... You know, I remember them being up in there, so I don't know. We'll see how far we can get today. Um, I'm hoping we will also get level 39 today. That would be a great step in the right direction <laughs> for us. Um, again, my mithril bars didn't sell in the auction house, so... Um, and they keep like fluctuating greatly in price. So we're going to have to see. Uh, I mean, we have enough money without them to get our mount at 40, but uh, I would like to get a little extra padding, you know, <laughs> when we ultimately spend our entire fortune on the mount. Because then our next goal would be to save up for the next riding level and the level 60 mount. Which is nice. Okay, there's one skin. These are gonna be a little bit tricky to get. I wonder. I should go sharp tooth frenzy. No, we don't even. Those aren't even the gators that we need. These gators. So for everyone playing, ha Nax is out, right? <laughs> is Naxxoramus out? I think it might be out. Um, and I also know that in Shadowlands, the first raid of the expansion came out. Uh, Castle Naritha or whatever. Naritha, Naritha. Castle something. Um, I was in a guild where I was going to uh, do some raiding in WoW Shadowlands, but I decided against it. It's just going to take up too much time that I'm already short on, <laughs> so I feel like it would it would be a little bit too much and there wouldn't be a lot a lot of breaks so one of the things I like to do when I'm playing video games um and and doing doing videos for YouTube helps that is I I take like pretty significant breaks in between like sessions and so if I were trying to do a raid and make videos at the same time um it would just be really hard to fit it all in so, I won't be raiding this expansion, which is fine. Um, I don't need to raid. I wasn't really, like, big on it. I was just, I was having fun with the, the mage. And that sort of new expansion hype wore off, honestly, pretty fast. <laughs> I was surprised at how fast it wore off. Oh, okay. We can, um, kill these guys, too, while we're out, out here. And I don't know if it maybe got overshadowed by... Cyberpunk coming out, I, I feel that's what happened. Because I got more excited for Cyberpunk than I than I was to raid. Still really enjoy it. Still had a lot of fun with it. I think it's one of the better expansions that has come out um, recently, so. I think one thing that I'm looking at doing, because uh, I think a couple episodes ago, or maybe even last episode, I, I can't remember anymore, I was talking a little bit about what are we going to do with this series. When we get to a point where we don't have really have quests to do, we've got to grind dungeons or just 
grind mobs to try to get to uh, max level. And I was thinking, um, I think I had mentioned, you know, we could stream, and I kind of said it like tongue in cheek because streaming is one of the things where you have to be on point. Like, it, it <laughs> you don't get to like pause and redo something, or hey, things are going wrong, I gotta fix it after, you know, after this quest or something. It's a you're live. And I've tried live streaming, and it was a lot of fun to have people there, but I was thinking, even if we did, like, one day a week, like, maybe stream Saturdays or something, or stream su live stream Sundays, um, and we just play WoW Classic and, and chill and see how far we can get. So that might be an option. Um, and I, I'm really, really thinking of that. The problem is I really was enjoying days off <laughs> of having to do content but I feel like if I'm going to be playing games anyway <laughs> I might do that so so we'll see let me know what you think of that if maybe like one day a week we would just stream some some MMO MMO stuff and and to start with it would be wow classic maybe get us up there and that way it'd give us a way to do group stuff and group content without having to worry about editing it down and finding the group on a schedule and all that stuff so I don't know I'm talking myself more and more into it what the heck we're being accosted by on all sides here that Bert, can you go get that guy He's shooting me and we're we're going we're moving up fast in our in our bars la, 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 la. the other thing about live streaming uh, that I'd really have to consider is I usually take a nap. <laughs> I had some, sometimes a couple on the weekend, so <laughs> I'd have to maybe invest in a coffee maker. Which wouldn't be a bad thing. I'm I'm redoing my um my bedroom actually, uh, like furniture and and stuff wise and. While my family was here over, um, over Halloween, like around that time in in uh, in October, I had my nephew install some, like, uh, shelves that don't have a back on them. So they, I have a really oddly shaped bedroom. It's kind of, it's a rectangle shape. So it's really long and it's a little bit narrow. Um, and so my computer is at one end, surrounded on three sides by windows, and then, like, way behind me, it goes back in a, you know, in a rectangle, and my bed's at the other end. So what I did is I, I put shelves in the middle that's kind of like a, a separation wall, and I'm filling those shelves slowly with, like, um, I ordered some Witcher statues, and I put all my, like, gaming collector's edition manuals and stuff, um, or guidebooks on there. And I'm slowly filling that up with game stuff, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna put some lights on it, too, uh, at some point. But I, I've been slowly getting stuff to kind of just redo the whole bedroom and make it more of a living space, I guess, and less of a... What's that fused wiring? Is that needed for, like, engineering? Because that would be great. But, it, yeah, it's becoming more of a living space and less of a, like, just mess. <laughs> and uh, one of the things that I, I did is my parents kept asking me what I want for Christmas. And I said, I, I don't know, because anything I want, I just, I'm in a fortunate situation where I can just buy it myself. But they were like, what about a pair of chairs for your room? Because I had talked about putting a little seating area, um, getting a TV, and putting two chairs there. So, like, if I want to play, um, 
like a, a PlayStation 5 when I can finally get one uh, or something that I can just have a little seating area that's a little bit different than just sitting at the computer all day and um, they paid for the chairs and they they should be coming this week so that's it's really exciting I mean I know you you guys are probably like I, it's not exciting because you can't see it <laughs> but I'm really excited about it um, it's just making like I don't know what to call it because I'm, I'm not a guy, but I, it's my man cave like that. I want a man cave <laughs> I want my stuff. I want I got my gaming computer my recording computer. I'll have a ps5 and a and a um, And a TV there. Uh, I got my nice little, you know gaming statues going on And then I'll bring it together with um, You know some artwork on the walls and some hang up some lights And it's gonna I think it's gonna be really cool what is this? Is this ZG? It is. That's a raid right there. If you're not familiar. Not familiar with uh, WoW Classic. That's one of the raids. A really cool raid, actually. If you're watching the... Wait, are we there yet? No. On the <laughs> on the, the Shadowlands Let's Play, there's actually um, a raid boss that you kill in that raid that shows up in Shadowlands. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Um, how many more of these crystals do I need? Two. Let's go see if some have respawned up here, and then we can also see if some crocolisks have respawned for us too. You know what else I'm- I, I mean, I'm sorry, I talk about other games while we're playing this, but Cyberpunk comes out tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm very, very excited for it. Um, I, I posted on Twitter that I don't think I remember being this excited about a game for a long time. And I think maybe the last time I was this- invested in a game launch and like really really got hyped for it was Star Wars The Old Republic <laughs> and you know what I have to admit wherever the game is now when it came out I really really enjoyed Star Wars I was very into it I thought it was going to be you know the game that I played forever and then just something about the end game uh, did not hold me just didn't, it did not hold me. I, I raided a little bit with a, a group. I was in a pretty good, pretty good guild. Had some good friends there, and then it didn't, it didn't hold me. So I'm looking forward to Cyberpunk a because it's a single player game, so I don't have to worry about like, schedules and raiding and stuff. And then B, I'm looking forward to it because at some point it is going to be multiplayer. Um, and if it's anything like a uh, you know, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer, where there's RP. <laughs> we we might jump into some of that. That could be really fun. I always wanted to get into like the Red Dead Redemption multiplayer or even the GTA multiplayer, but GTA multiplayer tends to be a little volatile, I think. So I don't know. We'll see. I got a lot of grand schemes and grand plans going, but we'll see what we're actually going to be able to do. But I am really excited for Cyberpunk, and I'm excited that it's going to be on the channel for quite a while. I'm um, kind of like this, you know, this series, where it's probably going to take us a few months. People will probably be done with it and done with all the hype and stuff, and I'll be like, yeah, we're just getting started. <laughs> so one thing about only doing three videos of a series uh a week. Oh, is this Causal's key? Well, where the heck do you get Causal's key? Is he a guy around here? Better question, was it a key that I tossed out? Um, what is this for? Causal Goblin sponsorship. Goblin sponsorship. 
The adventure comedy shredders out in Lake Nordin, blah, 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 have been equipped with a new module. I was thinking that Plazak could be able to take advantage of it. If we get some details before you. Kozl, the foreman out there, appears to be a little more clever than I gave him credit for. You seem like you might have enough. He really keeps them in his house, but they're almost certainly under. So this is the guy's house. He's the foreman. Kozl. <laughs> um, there's a work boss. Uh, hmm. Oh, you think he's maybe out this way a little bit? Uh, Foreman Causal. He's on there somewhere. Okay. I'm betting he's at the top of this. This reminds me of the Barons. <laughs> that th the lake in the middle with the thing in the Barons that we that we did. Man, that was a seems like a lifetime ago, huh? How's our inventory doing? We're okay. But he's up, I think. Gotta be real careful um, up here because we can get easily overrun and then, uh, yeah, line of sight. And it's gonna be hard if they run up on us to put some distance between us and them, so just be a little bit careful up here. But he's in this house. Get him, Scorp. I want to push that button. <laughs> that big red button there. Okay. You have a key? You do. Anything to do in here? No. Alright, let's run down and get that chest then. We'll get this guy first. They aren't spawning a whole lot of them. You know what we could do in WoW Classic? Live stream. It's a fishing day. <laughs> I think we need some beers <laughs> to get through that. The relaxed hangout fishing stream. I mean, we could do crap like that, like just have an easy day. I feel like I would get bored at some point and be like, alright, we're gonna go do a dungeon or a quest or something. <laughs> but hey, we could give it a go. Alright, get this. Now, th now this is something that we gotta take back to Thousand Needles. will be a fun journey back there all right let's get the rest of our crystals that we need Is stuff to turn in oh no he's just down here 
Where do we turn in, uh, I saw Trollbane. Wait. Oh. Traveled to Hammerfell in Arathi Highlands. Really? Hmm. Might. Might drop that one. We were already out there. Back here, you little goblin. Where'd you go? I thought I heard someone sneaking up on us, man. Oh, I probably just pulled you. Yep. <laughs> Can't catch a break around here. Stop shooting me. Alrighty. Man, we cannot get these last crystals to drop. So, um, some of you may know that my, my dad actually has uh, stage 4 lung cancer, so he's not able to do a whole lot. Um, he just kind of stays home and he watches Netflix, and he, he was complaining to me uh, the other day. He said, is it possible to complete Netflix. I said, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? He's like, I think I've watched everything on Netflix. I was like, dad, I don't, I don't think so. Cause there's a ton of stuff. You don't watch that much Netflix. Um, but he was going through the movies and he was listening. Yeah, I see this one. I've seen this one. And I think he's watched a ton of movies and he's watched all these like movies that are not in English. Like he got really on a, uh, Indian movie kick. Um, he really likes their action movies, which is cool. I, I watched a couple of them with them, and they're they're decent. They're kind of corny, but what action movie isn't corny? <laughs> um, uh, last night I went up there, and he was watching some Japanese movie um, with subtitles, and it was like there was this serum that they were taking and injecting into prisoners to make them super soldiers. And, uh, this cop, uh, or this lawyer got framed for a murder, but it was one of the super soldiers. And so, he and this cop were at, like, at odds with, with each other. And then in the end, they became friends and helped each other out to get the real baddies out of the way. <laughs> it was really weird, but it, it was kind of fun. Um, but yeah, so, I was like, is this the kind of stuff you're watching? Because you don't know what else to watch. He's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> I've watched all the movies, and he, he doesn't really want to watch TV shows. Um, but I think he's starting to get into some series now. Uh, just because he tends to do what I do and binge them. So if I'm... Like, that happened with uh, Lucifer. I spent like three days just lying on the couch watching Lucifer. <laughs> Great show, by the way, if you haven't seen it. And so he's starting to do that, but he, he doesn't know where to start. Um... So I wanted to see what you guys, if you have a, a show that you enjoy on Netflix, uh, that you're watching or that you would recommend. Because he has no idea where to start. He's watched a lot of them, like he watched uh, Marco Polo, which is a, a really good one. Sad that one got cancelled. Um, I had him watch uh, Elite, which is a pretty good one. Um... Gosh, what else did we watch together there? We've gone through The Office the entire season. <laughs> which was... Or the entire show. <laughs> I've actually been through the whole... The whole Office, um... Twice. Once by myself and then... I rewatched them all with my dad, so... <laughs> there we go. That's the last crystal we need. Oh, and... Did we just finish a chapter? No, we're very close. Okay. Don't 
don't need that one. All right. So we've got that done. I'll go over here and get some Shadow Maw Panthers. So they're going to be stealthed. But I have Flare, which should help us out a little bit in unstealthing people. Um, I'm going to get this iron deposit as well for out here. Oh, and we need these tigresses. Okay. Of course. Um... Hmm. <laughs> I know, Scorp. Give me a second. Give me a second. I really... Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna have Scorp eat that. Wait, wait, wait. Eat this, Scorp. And also eat this. And I know that's kind of a waste, but... Well, what are you gonna do, huh? We need to get some stuff. I could throw these away, too. Do I have, um... Chapter 3, chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 3. I don't need this page. We can destroy that. I mean, we could have put it on the cross site auction house, but across the faction auction house. Alright, we need we need something off these tigresses. So I'm also gonna get those while looking out for these panthers. Although we're also going to need something off of the Panthers, so we might as well go sell at some point. Alright, let's shoot off one of these flares and see if we can... Stealth? <laughs> oh, it worked! Okay, here you go. Get him. Yeah, I can't believe that worked. We put it right on top of him. It was pure luck, by the way, not skill. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got that. that. was one we needed. Um, look, can we do that again? No. But you... We have a tigress up there. And we gotta more go more up that way for the panthers. Alright. Get this guy though. I put it over here. Nope. Okay. All right. Let's go over this. Well, go around. Well, <laughs> get this first. Well. <laughs> figure out what we're doing. I don't need that. Alright. Um, let's get another flare going, like, here. There'd be panthers around here. Need ten of these suckers? My god.
I could do like a little strafe action too to see if we... Aha! Like that! Where'd he go? What is that? Oh, ding! We're 39! Alright, Scorp, come get this. Awesome, we are one level away! One level away from a mount. We're gonna need that eventually, but I'm not quite there yet. Okay, um, real quick, let's get our fight into frenzy. Yes, because then we're gonna we're gonna put the next point, next two points in here, and then um, then we'll get bestial wrath. Send your pet into a rage, causing fifty percent additional damage for eighteen seconds. While enraged, the beast does not feel pity or remorse or fear, and it cannot be stopped unless killed. Um, so we'll do that. What are you? You've got a panther. There's an artisan blacksmith. It must be for, uh, training some... Training some blacksmith stuff here. Cool. Okay. Uh, more? More panthers? Oh. Run up around here, see if we can get another lucky strafe going on. So it shows them more down here. That's just questy, I don't know... Oh, there's Bagthira. I don't- I don't want to- you know- <laughs> uh, I don't want to kill Bagthira, but we're gonna have to. And the reason I don't want to kill him is I actually have a cat named Bagheera. <laughs> I know that's where Bagthira comes from. Like killing my kitty, I don't like that. <laughs> Bagheera is not a black cat. He is a, um, the tiger cat. I should I know I should have named him Shere Khan, but I like the name Bagheera for a cat. You know, the story behind it is I went to go pick up a cat from, um, the Humane Society. Like, I was trying to rescue one. I said, you can't. This was, gosh, how old is he now? 14 years ago? Uh, 14 years ago. And said, you can't. Adopt a cat if you don't own the house. Um, I was like, okay, okay I, well, I don't. Like, i <laughs> not a homeowner, but I still want this cat. And they are like, nope, can't do it. So I was mad. <laughs> and I uh, stopped at a free kitten sign that I had seen along the way. I was like, fine. Um, I was willing to give a cat a very nice home and a very long and healthy and loving life. But... That one little thing, like you have to be the homeowner, that seems really stupid to me. Um, so I just got a, a free cat. And actually, he's the second cat that I picked out because the f I picked out my other little kitty, um, Pantera. <laughs> and she's black and white and she's like really prissy and I got her because she's so cute. Um, her coloring is really, really cute. She was extremely soft. Um, and she has this like gorgeous green eyes. And, um... I picked her out and I was like, okay, I'm only gonna get one. Uh, let's not go crazy because I just put my cat of 17 years down uh, at old age and we put him to sleep. And so it was like a month later and I was trying to get this other cat because I realized I can't. I, I got a dog thinking, okay, going from a cat to a dog because they're a little. They're higher maintenance, but a little less, like, smelly, I guess, <laughs> that's the reason. But I was like, I can't do it without a cat. I love cats so much. So I picked her, and then the lady who was, like, seeing me get them kind of knew I wasn't using them for, like, bait for a dog fighting ring or something. Like, she just knew. Like, I, I was like, you know, this is going to be my little baby. Like, I, I want a cat. 
Um, and she was like, what about this one? And she pulls out... <laughs> she pulls out uh, the cat that I named Bagheer now. Uh, and his hair's all disheveled and sticking out all over the place. And he was cross-eyed. Because <laughs> he had just woken up. And I was like, um... You don't have to ask me twice. I'll definitely take that cat. And, uh, they, yeah, their personalities couldn't have matched better with how I picked them out. Like, Pantera, the cute black and white one, is so prissy, so, um, dainty. She, when she drinks water, she sticks her paw in and then licks her paw because she doesn't want to put her head down in the water. And then Bagheera is the clumsiest, most ridiculous dorky cat uh, I've ever had in my life. <laughs> and he is so perfect. I love them both. But yeah, they're getting on in age too. They're about 14 years old each. Roscoe is about... Uh, he's probably up at 15 years. And then um, my other little dog, I have a chihuahua. He's about, gosh, I want to say 11, maybe 12. So I got some pretty old animals. Uh, but they're, they're my kids. They're my kiddos. Where are all our panther friends? Did I hear a stealth? Oh, now I did. Hey, there you are. So yeah, that was just a story. I got something on a full of stories today. <laughs> Apologize. Actually, um, I was noticing I was getting more talkative and hyper uh, because I went into work. So I, I've been into work uh, the past two days. I, I was usually working from home, but I had some call outs um, due to COVID of the people that I supervise. So I went in to kind of cover for them um, and take care of some stuff for them. Um, and I, I don't know what it is, but I. I ha <laughs> I get kind of hyper, so I get a little a little talkative and a little almost a attention deficit, but I don't have ADD. Um, I actually have, and this is probably more than you want to know or need to know, but I have um bipolar disorder, and every so often some a little bit of manic, almost uh, obsessive stuff flares up whenever I get a change in like um agenda or change in schedule or change in my like daily routine it just tends to flare a little bit so i apologize if i'm extra talkative today uh <laughs> or extra like distracted and and going around that's just you know welcome to my life i guess it's <laughs> it just happens it happens when things aren't aren't their normal But yeah, I don't- I don't mind talking about, um... Like, some people might say, why are you talking about giving bipolar? That's something you want to keep- keep to yourself? Uh, that's not me. I, I- I don't mind talking about it, and I- I wish people talked about that stuff more. Because, uh, you know... Someone else might be out there... With it, and struggling with it, and... They see other people talking about it and making it more of a normal thing to talk about. Um, you never know. Maybe they need that. That's why. I don't mind talking about it. I don't mind bringing it up. That's uh, kind of the work that I do too, so... We help people with... Um, we, The company I work for hires... Not exclusively, but... Um, we're a non-profit that is dedicated to, you know, helping people with disabilities um, find work and keep a, keep work and get them into the uh, working working community. And so I, maybe that's why I'm a little bit more open of talking about it because uh, it's just so normal. I'm surrounded by it all the time. So when, you know, something comes up and you notice someone's acting a little different or, um, man, their mannerisms are a little off. Um, kind of start recognizing, okay, I, I understand, it's not weird, it's just, I understand them now, <laughs> like, I get it, so, 
<laughs> so it's it's kind of cool. I like I really like the line of work that I'm in, and I like that our company you know, has that goal. So it's pretty cool. And it definitely helps me be a little bit more patient with people and understand you know, where people are coming from and people aren't trying to be jerks sometimes. They just... <laughs> sometimes they are, sometimes they are not, so... Let's give people the benefit of the doubt, I suppose. That's one thing I've definitely learned working there. And the only part of my life where that doesn't come in is uh, when I'm driving. <laughs> so I will... You cut me off or you uh, piss me off while we're driving. Nah, you don't get the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> you are just straight up an a-hole. <laughs> I've noticed that about myself too. I got serious road rage stuff. Like not to the point where I'm like running people off the road or anything, but I... I, if you want to see me have a potty mouth, cuss people out and when I'm driving. Definitely when I'm driving. Okay. We got a lot finished up here. Let's uh, go back to the river and see if we can get the rest of those crocolisks. We need three more. And we've killed quite a bit, so they're probably a pretty low drop rate. Wait, I got all, all the panther stuff that I need, right? Because we needed two, two panther things. Um, panther Mastery, 10. And we got all of the... Like, we got the panther teeth that we need? Where are they? Oh yeah, they're right here. Okay. Alright, good. I have been... I'd be having some extra treasure that I'd be giving away at the Gurubashi Arena. Hmm. You know, tonight, tonight might be a good time to go to the Gurubashi Arena. Everyone's doing new patch day stuff. <laughs> and raids and whatnot. But, uh, I can't. That's so stressful. <laughs> It's so stressful. One of these days, maybe. And it's kind of far away. It's like, where is it? It's down here, yeah. So we probably wouldn't make it there before someone gets it. Hmm. You know what we'll do is we'll trade in the non thing for a these. Okay. Worth it? All right, now we only need two more skins. What's that? Zeppelin? <laughs> Shadow over the moon. Hmm. <laughs> what is going on here? Okay. Um. Ali. I think it's the cheapest thing to get rid of. These tend to. Some of the grays sell for quite a bit. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna get rid of potions. Let's just. That. Pick that up. Okay. Um, is there another crocolisk? Here. So can we get our fifth right here? I'm not feeling too confident on getting the fifth off this. We got two greens and skin off of both of the ones that we've killed. If we get a third green and a skin, we're gonna buy a lotto ticket. <laughs> See, no, <laughs> okay, no lotto ticket for us. Get this one. This last one might take a little while to drop. No. 
Nope. Uh, do we got another one up here, maybe? Bum, 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 bum. Here it is. Alright, I'm feeling it off this one. Predictions? Chocolate skin off this guy? I feel it. This is the one. This is the one. Nope. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, this is the one. For sure this guy. We got really lucky multiple times in a row there, so it's uh, no wonder. This last one's taken a little bit to drop. Please, if this one doesn't, that one up there could. Nope. Okay, we'll try one more. And then we will, uh... We'll take a break, so guys, give me all your strength, all your belief. There's another one over there though, just throwing that out there. Believe. Believe in this one. It's crocolisk. Alright. Fingers crossed. No. Okay. I know you guys saw this one and we're believing in this one. That's okay. I wanted it off the last one, but I'll forgive you this time that you guys chose this one. This one's not even the bit high enough level for us to get off. <laughs> oh well, okay. <laughs> we tried. Um, Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and we'll come back for these... Um... Nope. We'll come back for these Crocolis skins if we need to um, in the next episode. And then what the other thing that we're going to do in the next episode or between episodes, I mean, is I'm going to go and I'm going to turn in all these quests so that we can just start out here questing uh, again. And I think we'll come down here, try to get skull splitter tusks. We'll finally try to do these singing shards down this way. And we'll make our way towards jungle stalkers. So... Um, still don't have our skin. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, if you guys want to see more of the World of Warcraft classic Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone.